To the class of 2020, thank you. It's hard to put into words what you've meant to this campus. How do we explain? The first day seemed so long ago, when you drove up Cornell Drive for the first time to a new home, to new friends, new roommates, though some brought a companion from home to help transition. And it didn't take long to learn that this group, this class of 2020, is a group of fighters. You fought for what you believe in. You fought for others when they couldn't. You fought to preserve a more promising future. You showed us that sports are not reserved to a court, a field, or a pool, and did so on stages across the country. You put the madness back in March and took up a little more room in the trophy case. You knew how to put on a good show. There were bridges built along the way. Newly renovated buildings and dining halls. You showed us what it means to care for your community. You made us feel connected. Almost bit a wheelie there. <laughs> Which is why it was so hard when all of that was taken away. The World Health Organization just de de declared this a global health emergency. Students were sent home from a handful of universities, including SUNY in central New York. I really miss each and every one of you tremendously. Just sending some love out to my SUNY Canton family. We know you guys are going to rock it out. So proud of you for your resiliency, for finishing the semester strong. This was not the way it was supposed to happen. But it's never been about one day. There's no speech, no award, no video that could ever sum up all that you've accomplished. And you gave us something more important. The class of 2020 gave us hope that the future is in the hands of a group that knows resiliency and who has the tools to help us leap forward just as a kangaroo is supposed to. I hereby declare this commencement open for the purpose of conferring degrees upon the class of 2020 at the 112th commencement at the State University of New York College of Technology at Canton.
On behalf of the faculty, staff, and alumni of the State University of New York College of Technology at Canton, welcome to our 112th virtual commencement ceremony, and congratulations to the amazing class of 2020. As you watch the opening highlight reel, I hope you were as uplifted as I was. This virtual time capsule documents your unique college experience, one that was marked by extraordinary challenges, yes, but also by wonderful memories. It also reminded me how much we have to be proud of as a community. Among your fellow graduates are leaders who have been on the front lines of the pandemic as essential workers, healthcare personnel, volunteers, and military members. They represent the best of us, the best of our college, and their contributions warrant our collective gratitude. For those wondering how you too can help, I have one final homework assignment. Think about your strengths and how they can be used to enact positive change in your communities. You have a once in a generation chance to have a seat at the table as the nation embarks on a collective reset, breaking out of old thinking patterns and seeking new ideas. As a SUNY Canton graduate, you have been well prepared and taught to analyze and problem solve. These skills won't just be helpful in your career, but to society. There is no going back to normal, and we should embrace that feeling. This uncomfortable position that we've all been forced into has given us an opportunity for a fresh start, a new chapter. The pandemic has changed all of our lives. How you respond will change the future. Go Roos. Hi, I'm Jennifer Stevenson, and I am honored to be a member of your Canton College Council. I have been virtually following all of you during your time on campus throughout the pandemic. Not too long ago, as a member of the class of 1988, I too stood on a stage and remember the excitement of receiving my degree. Although your time has been a bit different this last year, you should be proud that you overcame and followed through to, to meet your goals. I want to congratulate each and every one of you, the class of 2020, on your success and wish you all the best in your careers going forward. Go Roos! Hello everyone and congratulations. I'm glad that we are able to come together virtually to mark this achievement. Being a member of your class is like being part of an exclusive club. No one has or will have the same college experience. Cherish your friendships and support one another during this new phase in your lives. I also encourage you to stay connected with the college by attending reunions and homecomings. There are more SUNY Canton memories to make, and I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, I'll leave you with a quote by that famous philosopher, Anonymous. I know not what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. In times like these, challenges create opportunities for change. We're counting on you to lead the way. Thank you. The SUNY Canton Ready Center wants to wish our 2020 graduates all the best. We helped you get started in your very first semester. We saw you through adventures along the way. And helped you prepare for the world. We want you to know that we are here for you always, especially as you begin your early professional career. We are proud of you and so happy that we can now celebrate your achievement. Remember, you are resilient, a great strength to have. We can't wait to see all the great things you do wherever you go. Congratulations, class, class of, of 2020. 2020. 2020.
Each year, SUNY Canton honors an outstanding graduating senior in associate and baccalaureate degree programs. Nominees for these awards are judged on scholarship, personality, and contribution to the campus community. It is my pleasure to present these awards to two incredibly deserving students. Our recipient for the Outstanding Associate Graduate Award is Adam Petrick. Adam, who hails from Toronto, Canada, is a business administration major. During his time at SUNY Canton, Adam has been a member and captain of the men's ice hockey team, was named an All-American Scholar by the American Hockey Coaches Association, and earned the inaugural Chancellor's Undergraduate Scholarship in 2020. He played a pivotal role in philanthropic efforts in Canton, such as assisting with Special Olympics, Ruse Hop to Help, and Norwood Kindness Day. Adam did all of this while maintaining an impressive 4.0 GPA. Adam has been described by those who supported his nomination as helpful, kind, thoughtful, and motivated. After graduating, Adam intends to continue working for Scotia Bank in Toronto, where he originally completed his internship. Adam would like to give thanks to both Barrett Wolf and Ann Drake for their support during his studies and is thankful for his time on the hockey team under Coach Alex Boke's leadership. Adam has been a truly engaged member of our student community, and I look forward to hearing about his continued success. Congratulations, Adam. Hi, everyone. It's Adam Petrick. First off, I just wanted to say huge congrats to everybody in the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021 for getting to this point in our academic journeys. It definitely was not an easy one given the pandemic and everything that's been going on in the past year, year and a half or so. Um, has definitely made it a lot tougher on all of us to be able to, to come out on top here at graduation and that extra perseverance that it has required for all of us. So please give yourselves a pat on the back. This is definitely something that we should all be proud of. Um, so again, huge congrats, like I said, to, to everybody in the graduating class this year. On a more personal note, uh, although I really, really would have liked to be uh, in Canton doing this live today, um, I'm at home right now in Toronto, Canada. So given the, the border restrictions and everything that's been going on with the pandemic, and now we have another stay-at-home order here in Toronto. So it made it pretty tough to, to be able to get down to Canton to do this live. And, um, you know, when I was given this award, I definitely didn't think that I'd be doing this through my laptop today. But um, at the end of the day, it's definitely something that, uh, is a huge honor for me and, and I'm super honored to and, and humbled to be able to speak here today um, at graduation in front of all of you and to be able to be recognized with this award like I said is a huge honor so thank you to everyone that has helped me get to this point including my uh, my teammates on the men's hockey team and my coaches on the on the men's hockey team for pushing me not only as an athlete every single day but also as a student in the classroom as well and um, you know, balancing both responsibilities to the best of my ability. So special shout out to, to all of you guys. Thanks so much. Um, and another special shout out to two specific people at SUNY Canton who were always there for me and, you know, always put their hand up to, to be able to help me out and whenever I needed help. So um, without the both of you, I definitely would not have been able to get to this point here today. So special shout out to Barrett Wolf and Annie Drake. Um, you guys are awesome. And like I said, I definitely would not uh, have been able to get here today without you guys. So huge, uh, huge shout out. You guys are awesome. And lastly, um, just to round everything out, you know, given that I said uh, that extra effort and the perseverance that it took for us to get to this point during the pandemic, um, you know, unfortunately, uh, we're still in the midst of the pandemic right now. So it's going to take that extra effort and that perseverance um, in the next step of our journeys, wherever that may take us. So um, please just take some time to reflect and, and you know realize this this huge huge accomplishment in our lives. Um, you know even this even though it may not be you know a, co a quote unquote normal graduation right now, uh, um, you know it's definitely something that we should still be proud of and um, like I said, give ourselves a pat on the back for. So um, again, huge congrats to everybody here today who is graduating um, and best of luck in the next step of your journeys wherever that may take you. Um, thanks again and congrats everybody. Our recipient for the Outstanding Baccalaureate Graduate Award is Noel Niemiec. Noel, who hails from Staten Island, New York, is a health and fitness promotion major. During Noel's time at SUNY Canton, she was a two-time captain of the women's ice hockey team and was named the American Hockey Coaches Association All-American Scholar, 
named to the Colonial Hockey Association's all academic team and spent hundreds of hours volunteering as a commentator on webcasts for SUNY Canton's home athletic competitions. Throughout all of this, Noel has maintained a 3.88 cumulative grade point average. Noel is described by those who supported her nomination as having unwavering character, a consummate role model, and an academic all-star. Noel is currently pursuing her doctorate in physical therapy at Clarkson University. I have no doubt that Noel will continue down the same successful path she began at SUNY Canton and will make a tremendous impact on those around her. Congratulations, Noel. Dr. Safran, on behalf of the School of Business and Liberal Arts, the Canino School of Engineering Technology, the School of Science, Health, and Criminal Justice, I present the graduates of the class of 2020. These graduates have been certified by the faculty for their Bachelor of Technology, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, Associate in the Arts, Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Science, associate in occupational studies degree or certificate.
acting for the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Technology, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science, Associate in Arts, Associate in Applied Science, Associate in Science, Associate of Occupational Studies, or Certificate, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. I hereby declare the 112th commencement at the State University of New York College of Technology at Canton closed.